Happening right now, a march and rally to end gun violence in a place that knows the pain all too well. Hundreds right now are gathering in Newtown, where nearly 10 years ago, 20 children and six adults died at Sandy Hook Elementary School. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Christian Colon is live there for us right now with more on what they want to see happen. Christian. Hi there, Mark and Aaron. Yeah, the rally just started. They're doing some prayers right now. Eventually, there'll be some speakers, and then they will be marching uh, down the road. Take a look behind me. Everyone's wearing uh, orange, a color that's become symbolic to honor the victims who were shot and killed over the years. And like I said, right now, they are doing some speakers right now, and then they will be marching to the National Shooting Sports Foundation building, which is about which is about a, uh, a mile away. And some of the people, they will be remembered today. Most recently, the former Yale resident killed by his patient in Tulsa this week. Last week, the 19 children and two teachers shot and killed at Robb Elementary. And last month, 10 people were shot and killed in Buffalo. All just tragic incidents pointing to guns, which is why the Sandy Hook community wants to see change in gun laws from background checks to safe storage. And we chatted with the father of one of the little boys named Daniel who died here in Newtown. I asked him how his family was doing after all of these terrible reminders. Let's listen. That's a hard question because it's just constant. You know, we were wrapping our heads around uh, innocent shoppers being targeted in a grocery store for being black and shot to death for grocery shopping while just going about their daily business. And then, then the news from Ivaldi broke and, um, and we started to see the similarities to what happened to us here in Sandy Hook. It was just uh, really heartbreaking. Again, they're doing a prayer right now for all the victims that have been killed over the past few days and weeks, honestly. And this is the first in-person march for the We uh, We Wear Orange campaign since the pandemic. So it's a bittersweet moment for all these families here in Newtown. And again, we'll have a lot more coming up tonight at 11 with the breakdown as well as the march that will be happening in a couple of minutes. For now, we're live in Newtown. Christian Colon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.